Oh no, what's this shit, Donald? This better not be Five Nights at Freddy's. New video means a new game. Today we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Isn't this a horror game? Yes, Joe, this is a horror game. Seriously, Donald? Another horror game? Yes, don't worry, Joe, it will be fun. Yeah, right. So fun, Donald? Come on, guys. I want to play this game, all right? Show some respect. All right, sure, whatever. Nice as this Five Nights at Freddy's looks super fun, Donald. It's just a mini game thingy before the actual game starts, buddy. All right, so who's the kid in the room? I think his name is just The Crying Child. Wow, what a great name. Hello, guys, I'm back. Are we playing with Ben again? Come on, Joe, don't be rude. Yep, Ben is the Five Nights at Freddy's guru. He'll help us out. Yep, yep, you guys heard Donald Trump. I love Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, sounds good. All right, boys, looks like we're getting started. Let's get this shit, boys. Oh, God, I'm excited. Why are we not in the Freddy's Fazbear Pizzeria as usual? The shift to a house in Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is primarily due to the narrative context. The protagonist of the game is a child named Crying Child, who is experiencing a series of terrifying nightmares involving the animatronics. These nightmares occur in his own home rather than a pizzeria. The house setting helps to emphasize the intimate and personal nature of the child's fears. Wow, wow, wow. Hold up there, Ben. If we're going to play with you, you better stop talking like a damn nerd because I didn't understand shit you just said. Yep, that was too much for me to take in. Pause. So basically, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 takes place in a house to explore the nightmares and personal fears of the child named Crying Child, leading up to the Bite of 87 incident. What the hell is the Bite of 87? The Bite of 87 basically was an event that occurred in the Five Nights at Freddy's Two Restaurants in 1987, where an animatronic bit the security guy in the forehead. All right, that's all I gotta know. Why are we skipping all other games and jumping straight to Five Nights at Freddy's Four? Shouldn't we play them in chronological order? Yeah, I agree. Boring, boring, boring. We've already played another Five Nights at Freddy's game before on the channel. Yeah, but what about all the other ones? We just skipped like three games. Oh my God, stop crying about it. If the viewers wants us to play the other ones, we'll do it, all right? All right, that sounds good. Can I be in the other Five Nights at Freddy's videos? No. And if the viewers wants us to replace Ben Shapiro, let us know and we'll get it done in no time. What, seriously? It's up to the viewers, buddy. If they want you to stay, you'll stay. All right, fair enough. Can I play now, Donald? No, Joe, I'm playing now, but you can play the next night or if I die, which probably won't happen due to me being a professional at this. I thought you said you didn't know anything about the game. Yeah, right. Isn't that why you invited me, Donald? Well, just because I've never really played this game doesn't mean I'm not a true gamer at heart. I'm just naturally good at this shit, all right? Uh, all right. That doesn't really make any sense, Donald. You can't naturally know a lot about Five Nights at Freddy's. Shut up, Ben. I'm good at every game I touch, all right? Seems ironic that Donald wants to play the first night and let me and Obama do the other ones. Almost sounds like he's scared to do the hard ones. Yeah, right. Why don't you play the harder nights if you know the most? Oh my god, just shut up for god's sake. I'll do whatever night you want me to. Please stop arguing, guys. I don't like being around negative energy. Shut up, Ben. What did you say? Nah, nothing. Anyway, Ben, what the hell am I even supposed to do? It's easy to just turn on and off my flashlight, but what else? When you peek out the doors, you gotta listen carefully for breathing. And if you hear someone breathing, you gotta hold the door shut. And if I don't hear breathing? Then you can use your flashlight. All right, sounds good, gotcha. What if he doesn't close the door when he hears breathing? Isn't that quite obvious? He'll obviously get jump scared and die. How nice. Feels good having the ugliest president of all time having our lives in his hands. Hey, relax now, all right? I'm used to having a lot of lives in my hands. I'm the president of the United States, for God's sake. And hold up, how am I the ugliest president of all time, Joe? Doesn't make any sense. You're not the president of the United States, Donald Joe is. Yep, that's right. Thank you for making that clear. For God's sake, Joe has barely shown himself since he got in office. We all know I'm winning next election, and it's so obvious. That's also Cap. Well, I'm pretty sure none of you two are winning. I believe Ron DeSantis is winning. Who the hell even is that? Right? That's some nerd shit who gives a shit about that fool. Well, I'm looking at the odds right now, and it says Joe has the odds on his side saying he will win. Damn, eat that, Donald. Odds this, odds that. All I hear is bullshit. Can you guys stop talking about who's the better president and focus on the gameplay? You both suck anyway. If you keep this up, the animatronic will get you, Donald. Trust me, I got everything under control, Ben. Look at me, I'm smashing it so far. You're doing quite well, but it's just the first night, so it would be embarrassing if you died this early. All right, seriously, don't take away my credit like that talking, Ben. What is it with you guys always calling me talking, Ben? I'm afraid I don't get the joke. You're annoying as hell, that's all you gotta know. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. Sleepy Joe? Really, dude? The oldest joke in the book? Try something else, weirdo. You're the oldest joke in the book, buddy. Haha, <laughs> so funny. Haha, <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. Haha, <laughs> that was actually quite clever, Ben, I'll give you that. Thank you, Donnie. Don't call me Donnie. The Sleepy Joe jokes are actually getting overused, though. I'll admit to that. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. No, I disagree. I think Joe will always be a Sleepy Joe in my eyes. Guys, I think I just figured out the game. Why don't we just hide in the closet? It doesn't work like that, Joe. Well, why can't we just lock and close the doors? Wouldn't that solve all of our problems? Well, Joe, that would defeat the whole purpose of the game, dumbass. 
Holy shit, that thing scared me. Joe, it's been popping up a few times already. How did you just notice it? I don't know. I just saw it. You've got to understand, Ben, that Joe is very delayed with everything he does. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm tired of this age talk all the time. We're both basically the same age, Donald. But I can at least function like a normal person, buddy. Well, I can also act like a normal person. Yes, you can act like one, but you're not actually a normal person, Joe. Hilarious, Obama. Just hilarious. Why are we even looking in the closet? Isn't it a dead end? Foxy can come out the closet. Usually a small toy appears first, then Foxy jumps out and eats your ugly orange face. All right, well, what happens at the left door? Nightmare Bonnie comes out on the left side. And on the right side? Nightmare Chica comes out the right side. All right, gotcha. Let's go, we did it. Let's go, good job, Donnie. Yep, good job, boys, we made night one. All right, so what now? It's actually not done just yet. There's more? Yes, just a bit before night two begins. Oh, all right. Four days until the party begins. What the hell is this? Oh, great, we're back with the so-called crying child nice. Yep, now we learn more about the story. Who gives a shit I want to play? Relax, Donald, we gotta stay up to date with the story for God's sake, it's a part of the game. What the hell am I supposed to do? Just walk around, this is fun. I don't know, just walk around and see what happens. Ben, what am I supposed to do? I can't spoil anything to you, Donald, just play the game as you wish. Bro, what the hell? Come on, Donald, do something, this is getting boring. I don't know what to do, Joe. Ah! For God's sake, relax, Joe. I wasn't ready for that jump scare over there. Wait, I gotta go and use the bathroom. I'll be back. Oh, for God's sake. All right, we'll be fine. Fun with plush trap? Oh, no, what is this? Hello, Ben. Where are you? Ben is gone, Joe. God's sake, I didn't even have time to read the instructions. Let me Google real quick. Well, it better be real quick because I don't like this. Obama, are you finding anything? Uh, damn, just listen closely for the sounds, and when you hear him close to you, use the flashlight. God's sake. All right, I gotta time it by listening to the sounds. Yes, I believe so. That should work. You gotta stop him right on the X in front of you. God damn it, this is scary. Nice Obama, he's gone, bro. Oh shit, I don't know what that means. Just listen closely. I don't hear anything. Wait, hold up. Wait for what? Wait! Now, Donnie! Shit! Nice, Donnie, let's go. Holy shit, nice call there, Obama. Yeah, for real, that saved us, holy smokes. Hey, guys. Nice, Ben, where have you been? Yeah, sorry, I had to use the bathroom. Yeah, kind of bad timing, buddy, but we managed to figure it out. All right, my turn. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If y'all want to see me play night two, all you got to do is to like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment in the comment section below. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye, boys.